Hey, what's your ones? Today I'm just going to be talking about the Transformers Hasbro PulseCon 2021 news. So this is really just going to be kind of a sum up of all, you know, what we know right now about PulseCon 2021. Let's get right into it. So here we have the Hasbro PulseCon page. Of course, this is on uh, HasbroPulse.com. Uh, so if you want to see, you know, all of this, you can just go there and it's right there. Um, so let's get right into it. So we do have a little video there that you can watch. We do have the entire schedule for both days, which I do have to give, a, you know, amazing, a big, big, like, thank you to Hasbro for organizing this so well. I'm so glad they organized this really well for all of us to be able to, you know, follow easily and understand and everything like that. So, of course, there is G.I. Joe, Star Wars, uh, tons of, you know, Nerf and all that stuff. We're not going to really be looking at that. We're only going to be, of course, looking at the Transformers. So here we have this little section uh, if you're wondering, the uh, Transformers panel is on Friday the 22nd, and it starts at 12.30 p.m. ET. So if you're in the central time, that, of course, is an hour back. So that would be 11.30 p.m. Uh, or 11.30 a.m., I mean, uh, CT. So if you wanted to know. Or you can just, of course, look up a time conversion thing if, you want, if you're confused with that. But um, here it is. Um, and I'm just going to read it for you guys. So join the Hasbro Transformers team officially as we kick off the celebration of the Transformers legacy and official reveal toys from the first wave of the next Transformers Generations line. So just that like first line alone just gives us so much exciting news. The first wave of toys from legacy, and that's going to be really exciting. So of course, we probably, most likely, I'm expecting we will not be able to pre order them or buy them. We will most likely only get images, and that's it. So that's usually how it goes with the PulseCon. We get um, images of the next line or wave of what's going on, of course, and then that's it. We never can really buy an entire wave. They'll do a Hasbro PulseCon exclusive, you know, maybe a few guests, some pictures, and that's it. So, um... We'll probably get some pictures. I'm really hoping that in the first wave we'll get Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron. That would be so, so awesome to do to get. Um, this next part does reveal some stuff, too, so let me read it. We're bringing together fan-favorite characters from across the multiverse, so get ready. The Energon will be electric. So that's, I think, that last part, the Energon will be electric. I do think that gives kind of a foreshadow slash hint to the Energon monsters. If you have watched any of my news videos about Legacy, the listings and stuff, if you, you've seen that there's been this reoccurring listing for um, for uh, for um, core class figures and deluxe class figures, it just said Energon monster. So I do think that might be a little a bit of a foreshadow to uh, the Energon monsters. Maybe we'll see one in the first wave. And let's read the rest of this. So the celebration continues with 2021, the uh, Transformers Hall of Fame. That, of course, is just, you know, they'll pick two, several categories, I would say, um, and you can pick and vote which one your favorite is of those categories. It might be, like, through the Predacons, Maximals, Autobots, and the Subcons, something like that. This year, we'll be celebrating the past, present, as we end up, um, end up to two amazingly talented contributors to the brand, and we announce the fan-voted uh, favorite for both Beast Wars uh, and War for Starcharm Kingdom. So, very, very cool. Um, and yeah, what I was just saying before, voting for a few categories and, you know, they'll just decide, they'll let us know which ones we're most voted for. And here is some more interesting stuff. So lastly, behold, as we unveil a Unicron companion pack to help you bring the epic final battle of Transformers, the movie to life with, um, Ben Burnley, lead singer of The Breaking Benjamin. Uh, be prepared for huge surprises and exclusives reveals seen first here. We can't wait to share it with you all. So that last section, um, of course, there's going to be a singer, but I'm really focusing on the Unicron Companion Pack. So if you did not already know, there was been several leaked pictures of a uh, kind of, um, uh, what is it called, a, uh, a modified uni uh, Galvatron or a um, you know, changing Galvatron. Uh, kind of like a grid system Galvatron. If you've if you've watched the um, old movie, 
There's this scene, of course, when Unicron's changing all the uh, Seekers and the Insecticons to the sweeps. And, of course, they get Megatron and they change him into Galvatron. So they're really just going to have the same Galvatron mold with a bunch of grid systems on him looking like he's about to be changed and, you know, uh, transformed um, or modified, you could say. Uh, and it will come, actually, someone already reviewed it, it comes, I think, with 14 little minifigures. Um, like with the Ark, that one came with an Optimus. Like the Santeron drone, that came with an Optimus. Uh, Unicron, it came with uh, Rodimus and Galvatron. So it'll come with like 14 of those. It'll come with uh, all the classic characters like Megatron, the Dinobots, um, uh, some Seekers, uh, RC, Rodimus, I think, maybe tons of them. So that's really, really, really exciting. It'll also come with, uh, of course, the two classic uh, nemesis guns that go with Un uh, Galvatron, but it'll also come with a nemesis ship that's accurately painted and sculpted. That's nice. it also come with a um, uh, junk, junky on ship that was in that movie, so that's really, really cool. Um, and of course, it comes with this fusion cannon and a matrix, and I think that's pretty much it. I do hope I'm uh, in the review, of course, this guy gets them early, so... I don't know if that's 100% accurate. I'm not sure if all the stuff he showed will be all the stuff we're actually going to get when it's released officially. I'm hoping it comes with some sort of stand or plate so you can put all the 14 of those little characters or minifigures on there. Um, in his review, he just used the stand that came with the Haslab Unicron, so I'm hoping they'll maybe give us something like that for uh, this pack. So that's really, really exciting. I'm... That will not be the PostCon exclusive. That will just be probably something that could be revealed tomorrow for Transformers Tuesday. Or maybe uh, one will be revealed on Friday and then one will be revealed on Saturday. Or they'll just be both at the same time. I'm, in my personal guess, I'm, I'm really betting on tomorrow, Tuesday, or on the same day, Friday. So let's get into what the PostCon exclusive is going to be, which I'm very surprised they did not mention the PostCon exclusive in here at all. They just mentioned the Unicron Companion Pack, which is not the Hasbro PostCon exclusive. Of course, um, they have not posted the listing to it yet. Of course, it is official, but as of on new sites, they've said it's just a select figure. So it could be a Hasbro Post exclusive select figure or just a standard select figure. So I would not be too worried about that. The main thing you would... If you want the PulseCon, the main thing you need to focus on, of course, is this figure right here, the uh, Ravage uh, Decepticons Forever Pack. So this is the thing that I'm really going to go for and really, really, really want. And it's going to look so amazing to put this next to the previous 2020 um, Quintesson Pit of Judgment Pack. I'm going to put them on the same little um, you know, nook, little uh, shelf. That looks so, so cool. Um, so... Um, I have already done a video or two about this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but this is the PulseCon exclusive, so if you want this, you better decide, because um, uh, they did send out, if you're with their newsletter, they did send out, of course, saying that they have all the information about the times of the stuff for PulseCon, but they also did say all exclusives will, re will of course, be in stock for premium members, and then, of course, then all members, but they said after that, it is gone. Forever. I didn't say forever, but they said they will only stock it like this one time. Of course, they could stock it again. They could just be saying that to have kind of a marketing scheme just for you guys to, to get it, you know. Um, but I'm not going to will. I'm not willing to take that to chance, of course. So I would highly suggest if you want this, get it now. Whether you're a premium member or a normal member, just get it because they could restock it, but it will take some time. Like with um. The PulseCon last year, I was uh, I did not have Hasbro Pulse Premium yet, so I got it in the second, you know, I got it in the every one time, uh, and it was sold out in like three seconds, but then they restocked it, and I got mine like five months later, so um, yeah, um, I'm hoping if they do restock this, it could be aware, it could take some time if you get in that like third round of uh you know, being able to buy it. But um, I think it looks really cool. I'm really, really glad they made this. It's going to look really cool to have him. Uh, I really like the cardboard cutout. It's really small, but uh, really cool. It's in there. I'm not sure. I don't, yeah, they don't have a picture of it just alone. But, of course, uh, whenever this is posted uh, officially, you know, like, well, not, um, if it's whenever it's available, Preter, 
more people will be getting it and more reviews will be out, so that will be good. But a few people have already reviewed it, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, it is pretty much the same mold as Tigertron, just different weapons, and the head sculpt's different. And I think that's pretty much it. Of course, Tigertron does not come with a cardboard cutout. I do think this is not at all worth what it should be. Um, I know it does come, he's about a Voyager, it comes with two, uh, two pistols for him, the two hind leg guns for the G1 Ravage. So I would say in my personal opinion, not including shipping, I think it should be about 42 max. And then, you know, when you're putting in shipping, if you have, if you don't have premium, it's $7 shipping, really, depending where you are, um, it's about $7. So, you know, if you don't have premium, you're going to pay like $60 for this, which is not worth it at all, I'm, I, in my opinion. But of course, um, when you're a collector and, you know, it's a Hasbro Pulse Gun exclusive like this, you know, you're going to get it. <laughs> um, I will get it. I do think it's slightly overpriced. The only really two reasons why I'm going to get it is because of the figure looks amazing, or there are several reasons why I'm going to get it. The figure looks amazing. Also, it has Repulse Gun exclusive, and I have premium, so the $7 shipping is, you know, that's not for me, so that's good. But, um, yeah, tell me what you think of this exclusive in the comments section below. I think it looks amazing. Really, really looking forward to it. Um, so, listen, everyone watching, because I want you guys to be informed, because they really did not make this very clear. I do like the organization of the times for, you know, just the, you know, panel in general, but I really wish they would say exactly when, very clearly when the exclusives are going to be, because they did talk about the Galvatron companion pack, but there has been nothing, uh, no listings of it yet, no, you know, just posts of this just saying coming soon, we have not seen anything, which I really hope they do before Friday and Saturday, but yeah, so listen closely if you want this. So for premium members, it is available at 4 p.m. ET, so that's me. I'm in Central Time, so it's 3 p.m. here on October 22nd. That's Friday. And for everyone, premium or non-premium, it's 5 o'clock um, p.m. ET or 4 here for me on the 22nd. So same day, you have uh, an hour difference between premium and non-premium. So it's there. I really do wish they put in this this panel section, you know, the two things they're going to reveal. Of course, it would be the Ravage thing and the Galatron thing. I really wish they said, this is when it's available, this is when it's available. I'm really glad I looked at this. Um, of course, maybe Hasbro could just assume you would look here, you know, automatically. But, yeah, I'm hoping they post a listing of the Galatron pack um, so we have a good sense of when we can get it. Or it will be a Transformers Tuesday reveal. I'm not very, I'm not too sh sure, sure about that, but yeah, so it's there, um, I'm really looking forward to it, it looks really, really cool, it'll be really cool to compare him with uh, Tigertron, because Tigertron, I've watched several reviews, it looks like an amazing figure, um, so yeah, tell me what you want out of, um, out of, uh, PulseCon, of course, you know, you, you know, the really, the, what the exclusive is going to be, it's this right here, and then the, uh, the Galvatron is kind of wishy-washy, that's, either going to be a Transformers Tuesday or it could just be a reveal that's just not exclusive because they want it a little bit to be easier for people to get. If they can't, if they can't, you know, get this, they can at least get something a little bit easier. That's probably what they're going to do. So tell me um, that if you want those two. Also, tell me what you want out of Wave 1 Legacy because they will be showing us that I highly doubt we will be able to buy any. It will most likely just be pictures, and that's okay. I'm glad because we'll have the packaging art. We'll see what characters there's going to be, and that'll be really, really cool. So tell me, you know, uh, what deluxes you want, what what characters you want, or you could just say what characters you want in Legacy as a whole. You know, if there's four waves, any of those four waves, just let me know. Um, but yeah, uh, very, very exciting. Um, so for Friday, I won't be able to do a video as soon as it ends because I will be at school. So I will do a video following a little bit later whenever I get home. So not too far after. The bottom line is I will do a video on PulseCon on the 22nd. It will be public that day. Um, of course, Saturday I will be here, so that will be quite a bit easier. But I don't think there will be anything on Saturday for us. It's, there's no Transformers, I'm pretty sure, on Saturday at all. So I will do a video, so just stay tuned. I won't be, of course, exactly at 
you know, when it ends, the little panel ends and all that stuff is revealed, it will be a little bit later, but I will do a video. Um, so I think that's it, and I'll uh, see you next time.